the year is 1066. On the rolling hills of Hastings, England two armies stand ready for battle. One the Anglo-Saxons fight for their homeland, the other the Norman French invaders are led by the ambitious William, Duke of Normandy. This is the Battle of Hastings, a clash that would change the course of English history. The stakes could not be higher, the English throne is vacant, control of England hangs in the balance. The outcome of this battle will determine the fate of a nation. Will England remain under Anglo-Saxon rule, or will a new era dawn under Norman dominance? The death of King Edward the Confessor, childless, plunged England into turmoil. Several contenders vied for the throne, igniting a power struggle that would erupt into open warfare. Among them was Harold Godwinson, a powerful English earl who claimed the throne by right. Across the English Channel, William Duke of Normandy also laid claim to the English crown, citing a promise made by King Edward. Fueled by ambition and a belief in his rightful claim, William assembled a formidable army and set sail to conquer England. Adding fuel to the fire, Harold Hardrada, the Viking King of Norway, also threw his hat into the ring, sensing an opportunity to reclaim England for the Vikings. England, caught in a three-way power struggle, faced threats from both the South and the North. The stage was set for a showdown that would determine the fate of a nation. The Norman army, a well-equipped force of cavalry, archers and infantry, represented the cutting edge of medieval warfare. William's strategy relied heavily on shock tactics, using the speed and power of his cavalry charges to break enemy lines. Norman archers, equipped with powerful longbows, rained arrows upon the enemy, softening their ranks before the cavalry charged in for the kill. The Anglo-Saxons, primarily infantrymen, relied on a defensive strategy centered around the shield wall, a formidable formation of warriors standing shoulder to shoulder, their shields interlocked. Armed with axes, swords and javelins, the Saxons were fierce warriors, determined to defend their homeland to the death. Harold Godwinson positioned his army on the high ground, hoping to use the terrain to his advantage. He knew that if he could withstand the initial Norman onslaught, his well-trained housecarls, the elite of the Anglo-Saxon army, could inflict heavy casualties and repel the invaders. The fate of England rested on their ability to hold the line. Blood in the English soil. The Battle of Hastings began with a barrage of Norman arrows, which rained down on the Saxon shield wall with deadly accuracy. However, the Saxons held firm, their shields protecting them from the deadly hail. William then unleashed his cavalry, wave after wave of armored knights charging uphill, only to be met by a wall of shields and steel. The battle raged for hours, a brutal back-and-forth struggle for every inch of ground. Rumors spread that William had been killed, causing confusion and fear among the Norman ranks. Seeing an opportunity, the Saxons broke ranks and pursued the fleeing Normans. This proved to be a fatal mistake. William rallied his troops and the Normans, seeing the Saxons in disarray, launched a counterattack. The tide of battle turned. Harold Godwinson, the last hope of Saxon England, fell in the heat of battle, struck down by a Norman arrow. With their leader dead and their ranks shattered, the Saxons were routed. The Norman victory at Hastings was decisive and absolute. The Anglo-Saxon army was destroyed, its leadership shattered. England lay defenseless before the conquering Normans. William, now known as the Conqueror, marched on to London, where he was crowned King of England on Christmas Day, 1066. The Norman conquest had a profound and lasting impact on English society. The Norman invaders, a new ruling class, imposed their language, culture, and institutions on the conquered English. French became the language of the court and the aristocracy castles built by the Normans to consolidate their power dotted the English landscape. The feudal system with its strict hierarchy and land tenure based on military service was imposed on the English people. The Battle of Hastings marked the end of Anglo-Saxon rule and the beginning of the Norman era in English history. The Battle of Hastings was more than just a battle. It was a turning point in English history. The Norman conquest reshaped the political, social and cultural landscape of England leaving an indelible mark on the nation's identity. It led to the fusion of Anglo-Saxon and Norman traditions, creating the rich tapestry of English culture we know today. The legacy of Hastings continues to resonate in modern England. From the language we speak to the legal system we inherit, the Norman influence is still felt today. The Battle of Hastings serves as a reminder that history is not merely a collection of dates and names, but a living narrative that continues to shape our world.